can't believe you're here. I could say the same to you. You know, I actually came to Port Charles to leave my Bensonhurst family drama behind. Mm. And, and half the neighborhood is relocated. Exactly. Ronnie's here too, you know. Ronnie Domestico? Yeah. The guy gives me crap every chance he can. Anyway, so uh, you said you had something you want to tell me about my mom. Oh, yeah. Um, Dante, we're close, right? I mean, we grew up together, and our parents are close, and I mean, you spent Sundays in my grandmother's living room listening to me sing. And it's like, wasn't exactly sure. Yeah, it wasn't the highlight of your day either, let's be honest. But my point is that with all of that being said, I kind of feel obligated to tell you about something that I saw, and you can take the information, do whatever you want with it, but at least I should tell you. Okay, I'm intrigued. Okay, so I was reconnecting with Carly, and your ma, she comes down, we start talking. That Who's that young guy she's dating? Yeah, uh, John Zakara. Yeah, okay, so he comes over, and Carly mentioned something about how, I think it was your ma had dinner with Sonny, which, by the way, I still cannot get my head around the fact that he's your father. Take a number. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this Johnny guy, he gets pissed off. He storms out, and your ma, she starts going nuclear at Carly because, like, uh, she mentioned Sonny's name in front of her boyfriend. Look, uh, I'm not sh Am I wasting your time by telling you this? I kind of feel like I am. No, no, <clears throat> not at all. I'm glad you did. What he just said? Dante, is Olivia okay? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was just a pretty hard stretch for everyone. She kept the secret of my paternity for half her life. Now that it's out, it's not above Sonny to use her to get to me. Right. Well, the good news is that your man's not really pliable, so... No, but she's human. I mean, we're talking about the great love of her life, father of her only child. Her only child? You mean her son that walks on water? Because that is exactly how she thinks of you. No, the good thing is, most of the time, she sees Sonny for the piece of garbage that he actually is. Piece of garbage? Wow, you're not a fan of your father, are you? He personifies everything I'm against. He's an egomaniacal murderer. He makes everyone's lives around him worse. I mean, he's the reason I became a cop, literally. You remember Lieutenant Paletti? Yeah, of course I do. He took in all the neighborhood misfits and gave them a place to stay, took care of them. Yeah, well, I was one of those misfits. Sonny had him gunned down like a rabid dog. Sonny is responsible for Lieutenant Paletti's death? Murder. And I vowed that day to dedicate my life to getting guys like Sonny off the street. And then I find out he's my father. Some kind of cosmic joke. Tell me about it. So, how does your family feel about Sonny being your daddy? Actually, you know what? I've sort of avoided the whole topic altogether with them. My family's a lot like yours, you know how they can be. What, judgmental or uh, melodramatic? It's nice to talk to someone who actually gets it. <laughs> yeah, wailing, beating of the breasts. Gnashing of the teeth, oh, you poor boys. All of that. <laughs> yeah. Dante, I have to ask, uh, you and your mom, you guys are so close, has that changed with everything? Yeah, I was rough at first. I, mean, I was angry. I felt pretty betrayed. Like, she should have told me about something when she found out that I was working undercover. But now you're just over it? For the most part. <laughs> yeah, my blood still gets to boiling like when I saw them having dinner here. I was pretty pissed at both of them, but... Whatever, she's my mother, right? Gotta love her. I love her, too. Hey, hi. Hey. Hi. We're just catching up. You want to uh, hang out for a while? <laughs> um, well, as long as it takes to get Kate's food out. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to go because I don't need to. Bye. No, I don't need to be like in your way. You guys can have your time, but good to see you. Okay, okay. bye. Okay. You seem pensive. Is everything okay? No, I'm just uh, concerned about my mother. Look. Guess who I am? 
Yeah, Lulu. No. <laughs> yes. But I'm a genie. You are? Yes. <laughs> and I'm not in a bottle, and I only have time for one wish. I, I get a wish? Mm -hmm. One, so I'll make it count. Well, there's actually something I would like. These 50 cents for you. Turn up at Sunny. Nothing. Are you kidding me? You conducted a search, right? Yeah. And you got nothing. That's correct. You know, Claire probably should have called me on this. What, what are you saying, Ronnie? That you or anybody else, for that matter, could have been objective? That that something that I can definitely not be because of this biological accident that I don't even care about? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Ronnie, right, give me a break here. Okay, stop projecting stuff onto me that I don't even feel and listen to me. Okay, no one is more motivated to take down Sonny than I am. Once he's behind bars, Michael's chances for being released go up dramatically. And the wrong that's been done to Michael by me will be righted. That's what I care about. Not Sonny. Hi! <laughs> wow. Now, I have seen multitasking, but that right there, that's a talent. Yeah, well, I'm the crimson version of indentured servitude. Oh, come on, there's got to be some perk to your job. You look gorgeous. Does it have anything to do with the glow of love? I wouldn't rule that out. <laughs> so Connie seriously makes you buy her groceries? Yes, but these are for Dante. Um, he's got a lot on his plate, so I granted him one wish. You granted him one wish and he chose groceries? Oh my god, what a dork. He's I got a lot on his plate and, you know. I want the sum. The, the bottom's about to give out him. Oh. Just... Oh my gosh, thank you. There you, you. go. Of course. I'll, I'll take them. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, gosh, Dante's place is just right down the way. Okay, just so Thank you. Honestly, you don't have to do this. I'm used to juggling. Hey, okay, it's no problem. Got nothing else to do. Go. Uh, you can just set them right on the counter. There. Thank okay. you. This is amazing. Not to brag or anything, but I found it. You did? Mm -hmm. Well, then you deserve an extra pad on your back. Rental or condo? Rental with an option to buy. I like it. So how'd you find this place? And I'm guessing it's affordable, or did Dante get millions from Sonny when he found out he was his dad? Uh, well, I'm sure Sonny would offer money if he thought it would help, but it wouldn't. Yeah, I, I get that. I got the impression, like, uh, Dante has a firm line when it comes to Sonny, so. Yeah. Do you live here, too? No, I live with Maxie. Oh, so you're here a lot. As much as I can be. Um, Kate keeps me pretty busy. I'm on 24-hour call and Dante is too, but we make time for each other. That's good. So that's it. Yeah, of course. So... Can I assume that you're in love with him as much as he's in love with you? Uh, at least. Okay. He's an amazing guy. But, I mean, you know that. You, you grew up with him, so... Of course I know that. Look, Dante, he is one of my most favorite people in the whole entire universe, okay? And I'm thrilled that he has found somebody that makes him so happy. Thank you. Yeah, of course. No, thank you. But, um, you know, I know that we don't really know each other that well, but... I, I want to ask you something, but I'm, I'm afraid it's a little oh. presumptuous, so... Ask, it's fine. Okay. Dante told me that you have a good relationship with Carly, and I could really use your help there. Looks like a mob war could be shaken up. Johnny Zakara basically told me to my face that he's going up against Sonny. Guns blazing. Uh, yeah, I think he's serious, too. Do you know anything about Johnny from being undercover that could help us get a handle on him? He's a weird combination. I mean, with business, he's logical, detached, but he's got buttons. You push him and he's as nutty as his old man. Yeah, it seems to me he's got a death wish, and he's single-minded about it. I mean, Johnny doesn't care how much collateral damage he leaves behind, and that's why he worries me even more than Sonny. Yeah, we can't arrest Johnny for shooting his mouth off. He hasn't even done anything yet. I'm sure I'd like one more monster off the street just as badly as you do, but we got to keep our eye on the prize here. Sonny's a priority. We... Hey, didn't I just see you somewhere else? It's a talent. Mm. <sighs> one of many. Uh, Brooklyn is a lifesaver. If she wasn't there, your groceries would have been in the middle of Baker Street. Thank you, Brooklyn. Oh, you were going to ask me something. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, 
I... No! I shouldn't impose, no. Come on, what about something about Carly? <laughs> okay, well, I, I kind of need a job. And I know that she owns a hotel, and I've worked up a bunch of standards that might sound good in, like, her lounge. So maybe you could get her to hire me just one night, and then I can prove myself and turn it into a full-time gig. I can vouch for Brooks Pipes. I heard her at Jake's. She stopped the room cold. I think the Metro Corp would be lucky to have her. Why don't you talk to Carly about it? 